Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Swati. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. According to the Center for Disease Control, 9.3% of the U.S. population have diabetes, which is about 29.1 million people. Exercise benefits most, but not all of people with type 2 diabetes. Almost 15 to 20 percent of individuals show exercise resistance. They fail to show improvement in glucose homeostasis, increase in muscle mitochondrial density, and insulin sensitivity. Stephens et al. performed a nine-month randomized exercise trial with 42 men and women with type 2 diabetes. From this, they separated responders from non-responders. Responders being those that had decreased HbA1c levels, percent body fat, and BMI. Non-responders being those that did not exhibit decreases in those parameters. Now compared to responder, non-responders display decreased mitochondrial DNA content after exercise. RNA expression data showed downregulation of exercise and substrate metabolism linked genes, which suggests that the lack of response to exercise may be transcriptionally modulated. Now what's important is that exercise resistance is different in individuals with type 2 diabetes, where responders and non-responders respond differently to exercise. But not just diabetics, I mean also healthy individuals with reduced insulin sensitivity have lower gene expression responses to exercise, and there is a broad range of insulin sensitivity in skeletal muscle of healthy humans. But Clay et al. study just that. They measure insulin sensitivity and muscle in muscle biopsies at rest and 30 minutes after exercise in 14 healthy participants. They used arrays to study messenger RNA expression and sequencing to study microRNA expression in a subset of six of the participants. Their overall results suggest that lower insulin sensitivity leads to less muscle adaptation to exercise. Now, sequencing individuals with genetic predispositions, a tendency for lower sensitivity to insulin, and those with type 2 diabetes will allow us to understand the complex interplay of how our muscles respond to external stimuli and elicit an internal response. Type 2 diabetes is a multifactorial disease. The results from these studies are interesting, but larger studies with consideration of multiple variables will be required to fully understand understand the impact of exercise on type 2 diabetes. We'd love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you'd like for us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on social media. Until next time, bye! Bye!